he did $600,000 last month. And he showed, he shared with me this, this actual text message, which I'm going to show you right now. He shared me this text message where he bought his Mercedes AMG GLE is a hundred thousand dollar plus car. He was able to buy that because of his e-commerce business and because of the virtual assistants that he was able to implement into his system to make everything work together. Okay. So I want to show you how I was able to use virtual assistants in this presentation in this video and how you can use virtual assistants in your business to help you grow and scale your business to the net levels that you're looking for. Now, if you're looking to automate a lot of the tasks such as customer support, um, such as live chat, email support, such as things like research, product research, such as things such as graphic design, okay, from data entry to uh, market research, competitor research, to going out there and actually implementing a lot of these things. I'm going to show you how to implement virtual assistants in your business and three three ways where you can absolutely absolutely use them today right now and you can start implementing virtual assistants right now three ways where you can do this so that you can use these virtual assistants to help grow your business all right all right guys what's going on Teo here and I'm gonna show you basically how I was able to take my virtual assistants and scale my businesses to seven to even eight figures on one of our businesses okay so this system is a system that anyone can use. Um, whether you're a consultant, whether you have a real estate business, whether you are um, an e-commerce store owner, whether you have anything that's that's got to do with anything online or even uh, with using phone calls or customer support, this system can help you out. Okay, so I'm really excited. I hope you're really excited. Um, I hope you have your notes. You're paying lots. You're, you're paying attention. And what I'm about to show you is a strategy to take your business in 2019 to seven, even eight figures using virtual assistants. Okay, so here's here's the system. Essentially, a virtual assistant is someone that can help you with your day to day tasks. Okay, so whether you're doing your own email support, whether you're doing your own um, live chats, okay, whether you're doing your own uh, appointment setting and in your calls and your customer inquiries and all this and that um, your own product research okay your even your own ads if you're doing any of that yourself you're basically taking time away from what you should be focusing on which is building your business and the growth of your business okay some of you guys might not understand you're like I don't understand Teo I'm, I'm doing my customer support I'm doing my emails I'm growing my business right wrong because what you're doing is you're actually hindering the success of your business by working on those things that you could be automating so that you can actually scale. Okay. Your time is very important as a business, as a business owner, your time is super important. So you want to be focused on the growth, the strategy part, how to actually grow from here to there. Okay. From six figures to seven figures, from seven figures to eight figures, instead of doing the customer support yourself. Okay. Instead of doing the graphics yourself, instead of doing the um, Facebook posts yourself, instead of doing the ads yourself. Okay. You want to be able to grow your business and automate a lot of things. Now you're thinking to yourself, um, I'm just one person. How can I do this? I, when I first started this business back in 2008, okay, I was one person. I was doing everything myself. I was building the websites myself. I was doing the product research myself. I was searching for, for um, you know, traffic myself. I was doing everything myself. Now, what if you had the strategy? What if you had a way where you really understood how to scale your business to greater length? So let's, let's get this started. Okay. So here's how the virtual assistant strategy works. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to map out all the different things in your business, all the little pieces in your business. When you create this map, okay, human beings, we, we, we tend to, when we write things down, it's not as clear as if we were to visualize it on what's called a mind map. So I'm using this software called mind maple and you can use any type of mind mapping software. You can heck, you could even draw this out if you wanted to, right? So what you need to do now is you need to map out the things that you're doing in your business right now. Okay. So let's say you're doing your customer support. Okay. Inside of your customer support, you have email. Okay. You have chat. Okay. And you might even have messenger and even phones. Okay. So you have all these different things inside of your customer support. Okay. Now the next thing, 
what 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 do you do in your business okay so let's say you do you have some graphic design okay inside your graphic design you have your creative okay and then you have your images and then you have your videos maybe okay you have all these different things inside your graphic design and then what what happens after that okay so now you have your graphic design now you have your leads okay how do you get your leads okay is it through email okay is it through the phone do you do cold calls if you do any okay is it through um, advertisements okay how do you get your leads okay now you have let's say a, a research okay now a lot of people don't even do this okay Th we do this all the time we do competition research and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well okay competition research um, we have people who uh, in our research team we have our product the product research okay we go out there and we find products that are hot in the market right now and we make a list now imagine if you did all of this yourself you would burn yourself out okay you wouldn't be able to scale at all you would absolutely burn yourself out and at the end of the day you'll be freaking tired as heck okay if you're gonna do your research your product your leads your graphic designs and your customers for all in one day you're gonna burn yourself out okay picture this you have a fisherman and you have you take you make your fisherman go out there catch the fish bring the fish back skin the fish okay um, scale the fish fillet the fish and then cook the fish okay you're having that one fisherman do all of those things and then serve the fish okay that's probably you right now or it might not even be you okay so let's let's picture that now what if you had your fisherman all they did was just fish all day long okay how much more fish can they produce in a single day okay and then you have someone to just fillet the fish okay someone to just scale the fish someone to just cook the fish how many more fish can you serve on a daily basis a lot more you could produce a lot more on a daily basis this is what i did not understand in my business initially i didn't understand that i didn't have to do everything myself i didn't have to do the customer support the chat the email messenger phones everything myself i can actually get one person to do all of that okay and train that one person it may take you a few days even even like a week or two okay to really train them on your business but what's one or two weeks versus two years three years four years five years and never ever actually doing it okay how impactful can that be if you train one person for just two weeks or even just a week or even a few days okay how to respond to your customers and you're thinking to yourself oh i don't want them to respond because um it's my personal thing and you know i only i know how to do it myself that's the wrong way of thinking many business owners fail at this because they get stuck and then they plateau they're wondering why their business is not scaling because they're not willing to let go of the things that could be done and and tasked uh, some by someone else they're not willing to let go of the customer support i i need to handle my business because i need to talk to my customers myself and they know me and things like that. that's bullcrap okay <laughs> you can't scale that way are you able can you can you handle 500 customers Okay, can you even handle 100 customers? If 100 customers walks into your door right now, can you handle each and every single one of those customers? You can't, okay, it's impossible. That's why you have virtual assistants, that's why you have help. And these virtual assistants allow you to free up a lot of your time so that you're not spent on all this nonsense stuff that you could be doing while you could be working on the growth of your business, the expansion, the scale of your business, okay? That's how one of my students, Anthony, was able to do $600,000 last month. Most businesses would dream of $600,000 in a single year. He did that in a single month. Okay, this is how he does it. This is how we do it. We do this same system. We do the same strategy. And we, we basically de departmentize all the different things, just like the fish, right, the fishermen. We departmentize all these little things. We, we don't we don't catch the fish, cook the fish, fillet the fish, and everything. We have one person to just do that thing, whether it's customer support, graphic design, leads, and then you do what you do best, which is the growth of your company. Okay, if it's making sense, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like nodding your heads. Yeah, this is making a lot of sense. Okay, and a lot of business owners, they get into the mentality that they have to do it everything themselves. That's actually the wrong way of thinking, okay? You need to be able to, to work smarter than versus working your face off. 
You got to be able to work smarter so that you can scale your business and expand your empire. You don't want you don't want your your competitors are out there doing this already. While you're kind of sitting around like thinking, how can I do this? How is it possible? This is how we do it. We create a system and then we automate that system. Okay. So from customer support, we go out there and we we train our customer support person how to do emails. Okay, how to reply like us. You might think that's impossible. No one can reply like me. That's wrong. Anyone can reply like you as long as they see your emails and if they're spending a, at least you know a few days or even a few weeks reading your emails and seeing how you reply to customers, they're going to study that and they're going to reply the same way. Okay? Same thing as chat. Okay? A lot of business owners don't even have chat on their websites. I've closed multiple six figures just on chat myself before I even started with a VA. And then I, I actually automated that to a VA. I've closed multiple six figure deals, um, six figures, not six figure deals, but six figures, multiple six figures alone just with chat. Okay. So if you don't have chat in your system, you're losing a lot of money there. You're losing customers that go to your website. They don't see any customer support chat or anything like that. They can't interact with someone right away. Imagine someone coming, coming into your retail store or any, anything, right? And, and you're into your business. What do you do? You hit them up, you talk to them, you say, Hey, welcome. How, how are you doing? The same thing with your website. It's the same exact thing. Someone goes into your website, they see your business. They want to be able to interact some way. The chat system helps out a lot. If you don't have chat, our virtual assistants can actually help with that. Even Facebook messenger, Instagram messenger. Okay. If you're not there, you're out and about, you're taking care of your kids, you're on vacation, whatever it is. If you're not there, you're losing business. If there's no one on messenger. Okay. If you had a virtual assistant set up, okay. You can even do a 24 hour setup. If you wanted to, you can have two shifts, three shifts. Okay. You can have a 24 hour setup on your website where there's always going to be someone to chat with that leaves you in the competition that separates you in the competition. Your competition only has nine to five while you have 24 hour chat going on. Okay. The phone system, what happens if you're not there? Okay. Like I said, you, we can also have a 24 hour virtual assistant system where we have 24 hours of phone system, phone support. Anyone can phone in and, and ask for, for help and they, they can ask about pro your product and they can help you. Okay. Um, so graphic design, if you're doing any graphic design, you don't want to do the graphic design yourself. You can, of course you can do this. You can go out and you can outsource, you can go on Upwork, you can go on Fiverr, you can do all those things, right? But there's a problem there. And that's, that's the big problem that I've seen. And that's why I have my own team of graphic designers in house, because as we scale, we need more graphics. We need graphics for our Facebook uh, pages. Okay. We need graphics for our Facebook posts. We need graphics for our promos. We need graphics from here and there. So we have all these different things that we need graphics for. And instead of waiting for 24, 48, sometimes seven days on Fiverr and Upwork, I get the graphics right there. And my competitors have to wait seven days before they can even get the graphics. Okay. I get my graphics next day because I have that in-house system of graphic designers. Okay. You can't run a seven or eight figure business if you don't have the system right there. We currently build out 35 Shopify stores per day, Monday to Friday. What takes an, a typical agency a whole month to do, we do that in one day. We built 600 Shopify stores last month because of this system that we have. Okay. We have graphic designers, we have product researchers, we have people who, who add the products to the stores. We have people who set up the stores, do all the settings. We do all those things. Okay. Because of the system. All right. The lead system, whether you're a consultant and whether you're looking for leads, I'm going to show you one way right now that you can utilize virtual assistants to actually spy on your competitors and find out what they're doing and actually use them for leads. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And let's go ahead into research and leads. Okay. So for example, whether you're in e-commerce, whether you're in, um, in any business that is related to getting leads and generating sales, I'm going to show you how you can actually spy on your competitors and generate those leads. Now, before we do any of this, okay, I want to make sure that you understand the 78 figure strategies in order to go out there and do any of these things. You have to ensure that you have this in place. Okay. So who is doing your customer support? How are they doing your emails? And then you map it out. Okay. Which system am I using? Am I using G suite? 
Okay, am I using Help Scout? Okay, what am I using? Okay, what am I using for the email systems? What am I using for the chat systems? What software am I using? How can my virtual assistant log into that software? On Messenger, which pages do you want to moderate? Okay, to reply to, to customers and things like that. The phone system, okay, what type of phone software am I going to use? VoIP or Skype, okay? What are those things? Okay, the graphic design, how I'm going to, how, which, what creative, okay, where's the research on that? So you need the research, okay, the research team right there. What type of images am I, am I going to use? What kind of videos am I going to create? Imagine if you can get images and videos within hours or even within minutes, depending on how good the graphic designer is, okay? That's how we're able to scale with our virtual assistant system is because we're able to scale by getting the stuff that we need right away and very quickly, okay? Leads, emails, and research, okay? So let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's, let's research. Um, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and research uh, people who play tennis, okay? So let's go on Google. Let's go on Google and let's go ahead and research um, tennis store. Okay, people who, who have ten who play tennis. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna try to find the biggest tennis stores on the on the planet. Okay. Tenniswarehouse.com. We have Mason Tennis, uh, everyone's racket. I'm trying to find all the ads. Tennis. Okay, let's just type in tennis right now. Um, Dick Sporting Goods, Tennis Express, okay, Tennis Plaza. Um, Midwest Sports, Tennis Junction, okay, the, the tennis shop online, doittennis.com, zeropong.com. Okay, um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this app called SpyFu. Okay, and SpyFu allows us to research the competition. Okay, now, what, where am I going with this? What we're doing here is we're going to figure out your business, okay? So this is just an example. Whether you're a consultant, real estate, you're gonna type in realtor, you're gonna type in whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're doing, we're gonna go out there and research the competition, okay? Now, the next step is we're going to put them into a Google Drive, okay? And I do this with any business that, that I run. Um, I always put them in a Google Drive and I make sure that I have uh, a few things here, okay? So let's open up our Google Drive and we have our spreadsheet. Okay, so in this spreadsheet, I'm gonna call this competition research. And I'll talk to you guys about how you can use this for your virtual assistants and how you can scale to seven to eight figures. Okay, so now we have the name of business. Okay, and then the next thing that we have here is um, website. Okay, and then the next thing, and let's also do two sheets. I'm gonna show you two ways to where you can use VAs right now to generate traffic and get a lot of traffic from different places as well. Okay, so competition research. So here we have competition, competition. And then the next one, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do um, different blogs, okay? Tennis blogs and things like that. And I'll show you why. I'm gonna share with you one golden tip right here, how you can actually get lots of traffic from these websites, okay? So next thing is we're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, now, mind you guys, I have VAs and they're all trained to do this, exactly this, okay? And the traffic, okay? and um, SEO keywords and paid keywords, how much they're paying for SEO. Now I use this website called SpyFu, okay? And SpyFu allows us to look at a lot of the data um, inside of our competitors. So let's take a look at tenniswarehouse.com, for example. Okay, we can actually see the keywords that they're, they're running on paid search. And we can see the, the organic keywords that they're ranking for on Google as well, okay? So we can see that they're ranking for 20,000 keywords on Google and a 2.5, 2.75 million dollars in estimated clicks per month that they're getting in free traffic. So they're getting roughly 6.18 million clicks per month. Okay, and the next step is we're going to use this website called SimilarWeb. Okay, and SimilarWeb allows us to see and spy on their traffic. So let's go ahead and type in Tennis Warehouse. Okay, and we can see their traffic, their global rank ranking of website in terms of you know. Um, their global rank of the top websites in the world, you know, Google, Facebook, YouTube, they're, they're the top. And we can see that how much traffic approximately they're getting per month. So they're getting roughly 2.5 to 3 million visitors per month, okay? But we can scroll down and see where the traffic source is coming from, US. 
and we can see direct traffic source, which means that people are typing in tenniswarehouse.com and search, which is really good. This is a really good indicator for us to let us know that our competition is using a lot of paid search and using a lot of traffic here. If we see social, then we know that they're using ads such as Facebook and things like that. Okay, mail traffic, how much of email traffic that they do. Okay, and we can actually see the referring websites as well. And we can actually use this for our um, competition research as well. Okay, it looks like it's a blog. Okay, now we scroll down and of course, this is what one of their top referring. So 1.2% 1, 1 of their traffic is coming from that. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so let's go ahead and do create get a calculator. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over and do 2.5 million, 2.5 million, 2.5, okay, 2.5 million times 0.01%. So 1% of their traffic is coming from referrals. Okay, and I'll show you why that's important. 1% of the traffic is coming from referrals. So what that means is 25,000 visitors approximately is coming from these sites here. Okay, and 27% of that is this. Okay, so 25,000 times 0.27, okay, that's 6,000 visitors coming from this, coming from this website, 6,000 visitors a month coming from just this website approximately. Okay, so how do we advertise on this website? For example, let's say we have a tennis store and we wanna advertise on a lot of places that um, our, our people are, you know, these other competitors are advertising, we can actually do that. Okay, and then we're, we're gonna see a lot of the traffic, 50% of it, so over a million visitors are coming from organic keywords, okay? Now, how do we find out what those keywords are? We go to SpyFu and we can actually do this. We can spy on competitors and see what they're doing. Okay, so let's say we have a tennis store or a tennis business and we see that they're competing for over 2,000 keywords. So we can see the traffic source here. Their traffic is 2.5 million visitors, okay? The SEO, the, uh, the paid traffic, we can see that they're paying for roughly 61,000 um, for, or let's say 61,000 clicks. Okay, so 61,000 paid clicks. With SEO, they're getting roughly about 6 million clicks. Okay, so we know that this is a good website. Um, we know that, you know, Tennis Warehouse is a potentially good website. Name of business, website, Tennis Warehouse. Okay, so we know it's a potentially good business. So what are we gonna do with this? And how, how can we actually use this to scale our business to seven to eight figures? Let's say you have a tennis store, okay? Now this is where virtual assistants come into play. Let's say you have a tennis store and you want to replicate a lot of the things that these guys are doing or even just find out what they're doing. Of course, you're gonna need virtual assistants to do that, okay? You're gonna need a virtual assistant to go out there and do competitor research for all the different websites that are out there. You're gonna have a virtual assistant that can give you all, this, all the different keywords here. Now what you can do with this tool, for example, SpyFu, is you can go to paid keywords and you can actually extract all the keywords that they're using on Google, okay? Now you can actually compete with those keywords on Google as well, okay? You can actually compete with those keywords and let's say you have a tennis store and you wanna compete with that, just theoretically saying, you could be a realtor doing this, you could be a consultant doing this, you could do whatever it is, right? You can have your virtual assistant go out there, get all the keywords, export them and put them in here. And then basically utilize those keywords for your own um, ads as well on Google, okay? Now, we found out that there's some blogs out there as well, right? So for example, we found this blog right here, atptour.com. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another list of competition research. We're gonna create a list of blog name, okay? The website, and again, the traffic, okay? SEO and paid. Okay, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Now, how we're gonna do this is we can actually go out there and contact a lot of these blog owners. And here's a, here's a golden tip. We can actually contact blog owners and see if they're willing to collaborate with us in exchange for a referral, okay? So you send us traffic, we'll give you a special link. And with that special link, um, you can get paid for every person that buys on our website. Okay, or you can use this and actually advertise this on Google. You can find out if they're advertising on Google and then go to Google AdWords and essentially see if where their ads are being placed. Okay, so let's just take a look at any, any, of, any of their things here, um, any posts. So we can scroll down, we can see that they're running some ads here. Okay, so their ads are probably, it doesn't look like they're running any Google ads, 
but we can see that they're running ads definitely. So we can contact them and say, hey, how much, are you, how much do you charge for ads? And how can we work together so that we can collaborate and do something together? Okay, this is a strategy that, that I've used very well and it worked really, really well where I was able to contact blog owners and go out there using virtual assistants. I don't have to do any of this. Using virtual assistants, contact blog owners and get free traffic. For every referral that they send us and every sale that we make from their website using a referral tracking link and their software out there to do that, we would give them, um, we would give them a share of the profits, a share of the sale, okay? So that's one way you can use virtual assistants, okay? Now, let's say you have this entire list. You, you went out there and you researched your entire list. We have here Tennis Warehouse. Okay, let's go to the next one. MasonTennis.com. Okay, New York's finest tennis shop. We, we put that on the next list here. We go out there, we do everyone's racket. Okay, we put that on the next list. We go out there, Tennis Express. Okay, we put, a, we, we put another list here. Midwest Sports. Okay, we're, we're going out there, we're creating this list. Now imagine if you did this yourself. Imagine how much time spent. You could be doing this, right? When essentially a vir virtual assistant can do this for you. A virtual assistant can go out there, do all the research, even if it's like product research for e-commerce. They can create a whole list for you. Add products. Let's say you're doing drop shipping and you're doing AliExpress. They can go out there and AliExpress, add those products onto, your, onto the store. They can do all this for you. And all you have to do is just worry about the growth of your business. Okay, see how you can maneuver. It's like playing a chess game. Okay, you're, you're maneuvering all these little pieces so that you can move them strategically in position so that you can grow and scale your business. Okay. So these are some of the things that, um, some of the things, just to give you an example, some of the things that I do in my business to scale and to be able to expand my business by figuring out what other competitors are doing, finding out what I could do better, finding what keywords they're using and utilizing those same keywords on my, on my actual um, keyword placements on Google and even on YouTube and Facebook. Okay, and then utilizing those and growing my business. So if you're in that situation where you're trying to figure out how can I grow my business using virtual assistants, there we have a special program that I just created where you can actually use my virtual assistants. What if you could use my virtual assistants, the ones that I've trained, I've personally trained them for your business. What if you can use these same virtual assistants for your customer support automatically handle all of that? What if you can use the same virtual assistants for graphic design, for leads and for research? I've actually created this system called the Flex System. And in the Flex System, you can actually have our virtual assistants and use them for however many hours you want. So let's say you've, you have a certain amount of hours for our virtual assistants. You can use those hours for not just one person, but you can have unlimited VAs. You can have them for customer support. You can say, I want one VA to do customer support, maybe two hours a day. I want one VA to do two hours of graphic design a day for me. I want one VA to do two hours of lead research for me. I want one VA to do research, uh, product research for me two hours a day. Okay. You have eight hours right there. Um, instead of hiring just one person, you have specialized people for those specific tasks. Okay. So that one VA could just focus on that one thing, just like the, the analogy of the fisherman. Okay. You're not having one fisherman do everything. You're having specific focused expertise, expertized knowledge and skill in each section of your business. So that's what we have here at stealth agents. We have these specialized systems. Now, if, if your business is fit for a virtual assistant, click the link down below and book an appointment with one of my consultants. And they're going to be able to evaluate whether virtual assistants are fit for your business. Okay. If this is what you want, if this is what you need for your business, then book an appointment down below, click the link down below and book an appointment with one of my consultants. And there's not a lot of them. So you're basically going to, there's like, you're going to have to wait sometimes if, if it's all filled, but book an appointment with them and be ready on that call. If you want this, be ready on that call, get your notepad, get your pen and paper, get your website ready so that they can evaluate your website and your business to see if virtual assistance is a good fit for you. All right. So I was able to scale my business to seven and eight figures just by using virtual assistance. And I want to help you um, do that for yourself as well. 
Our mission and our goal here is to be able to provide lots of jobs. My mission in 2019 is to pro provide over a thousand jobs. So um, use, utilizing virtual assistants, I'm going to be able to give you, now we've launched this, I'm going to give you the same virtual assistants that I use in my business so that you can use this for your business as well. All right, click the button below, book your co consultation call, it's free, there's no charge for this consultation call. They're just gonna go over it and if it's, if it's a good fit for you, then we can add virtual assistants into your system. And we'll, like I mentioned, we have a flex system. So you don't have to have just one virtual assistant for all of your hours cons consumed. You can have as many VAs as you want and you can even have them uh, stop the hours or start the hours whenever you want. It's all very flexible. We have this thing called the flex system and you can use all of my VAs from graphic design to leads to research, product research, to product edition to customer support to web development to even some Facebook ads if you've automated some of those, okay? So click the button below and I look forward to seeing you on the inside and I hope you enjoyed this session of uh, how you can strategize your plan of attack for 2019 and how to make um, seven to eight figures utilizing virtual assistants. I know some of my students right now, they're doing this right now. And just like I mentioned, Anthony, you know, he's done, let me just give you an, an example here. I'm going to pull up one of my screenshots here. Okay. Anthony has basically done over and look at this. He sent me this, he sent me this image right here. Okay. This, this screenshot right here. Thank you because you're part of my, uh, my success. This is yours too. Thank you for being my, a blessing in my life. This was Anthony. He sent me this last night. He was able to buy his dream car with his wife over. He told me about this dream car a long time ago. He was able to buy his dream car and it's because of the system that he was able to create for himself. Okay. And just last month, he did over $600,000 in sales. Okay. $600,000 in sales just last month because he was able to set up his system. He's doing now imagine going from doing five figures to six figures to now seven and eight figures, which is definitely a possibility for Anthony because of the system that he's created. All right. So click the link down below, get your booking today with a cons consultation call with one of my, um, consultants here in New Jersey. Okay. Um, and of course we speak English. We're here in New Jersey. Okay. And book an appointment today and we'll get it going for you. We'll see if virtual assistance is a good fit for your business. If not, then no worries. Right. But we want to see if it's a good fit for you and if you can scale and grow your business utilizing virtual assistance. All right. Once again, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the session and I will see you on the inside. Mm -hmm.